Faithful, good, gracious, and loving. Father, we come to you in humility. sema leo ilikuwa siku muhimu sana ni county assembly ni 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 ni, ni county assembly prayers breakfast uh, kusema county assembly nyandarwa county assembly prayers breakfast si kumaanisha ni assembly peke yake ni assembly na executive na the public ndio maana kulikuwa na umati mwingi sana so leo tulikuwa tunashukuru Mungu kwa ambayo yalipita kwa sababu mwaka mmoja umeisha kutoka tuchaguliwe na kila mtu anaelewa nyandarwa ilikuwa na vita mingi sana na kwa sasa kumekuwa na amani. Hiyo amani imetufanya tufanye mambo mengi sana. Among them kuna vitu zenye haziko kwa sheria. 
kama ward funds ambazo sisi kuweza kuongeleshana na executive mheshimiwa governor tunasikizana na waheshimiwa wetu wanapewa ward funds ndio maana wanaweza kupeleka maendeleo kule mashinani wanasikika vitu zingine zimefanyika tumepitisha sheria kadha kadha kama finance bill na zingine the, 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 the revenue collection bill hiyo ni yenye kuokota pesa ndio on source revenue yetu ama pesa ambazo tunapata ziendelee kukuwa juu ningetaka kuambia watu wa Nyandarwa uh, amani ambayo mnaiona itaendelea hadi mwisho na si ati hakuna mvutano kwa uongozi mvutano iko lakini tumeamua kuketi kila wakati na kuongeleshana ambao wako na nia mbaya kuharibu juu wako na hizo vitu zinafanyika ningetaka kuambia tuko imara tuko tayari na hakuna kitu itatutingiza miaka zingine ine hadi tufike wakati wa siasa asante sana leo tumekuja hapa kwa mara ya pili mwaka jana tulikuja tukaomba Mungu atupe mwanzo mwema wa serikali hii ya tatu na leo tumekuja kuambiana kwamba hata kama kuna shida ya uchumi na mambo kama hayo ni lazima tuimweke Mungu mbele tufanye kazi kwa bidii tuendelee kuzungumza tuendelee kukati pamoja ili tupeleke nyandarwa mbele tumejifunza mengi kutokana na kutoshirikiana kwa viongozi pale mwaka wa 2007 2013 tulikuwa na nafasi ya kuwa na university wale viongozi wa mbunge wa wakati huo wakazozana kila mmoja alitaka university jengwe kwake wakazozana mpaka nafasi hiyo ikapotea kuna mambo mengi sana imetupotea hapa Nyandarwa nyahururu ilikuwa ya Nyandarwa lakini kutoelewana kwa viongozi ilienda hostari zetu zikaenda nje ya county kwa hivyo na ukiangalia pia sisi ndio tuko na majo mengi maji mengi sana katika nchi ya Kenya lakini mpaka leo miaka sitini, ha, tangu uhuru watu Nyandarwa wanazidi kuwa na shida ya maji ya matumizi na ya kilimo na ndio tukaamua tuka pamoja na wale wajube wetu wakiongozwa na speaker wetu ambao tuliamua na tukakariri tukafa, tutafanya kazi pamoja wameamua tutaendelea wametupitishia sheria nyingi ambazo kwa sasa tunatumia ha? na pia tume uh, tumeona kwamba ushirikiano huo umeezesha kwa mara ya kwanza <coughs> tangu ugatuzi ukuje tumesikia mmesikia pesa ilikuwa ikirudi na robi kila wakati kila mwaka pesa inarudishwa lakini mwaka huu umepita tumeweza kupata matumizi ya juu zaidi kushida miaka ingine yote eh? ya tamanini na saba juu ya mia. na mwaka huu tunataka tuende hata zu, z, eh? zaidi ya hapo kule katika hospitali zetu wananchi sasa wanatembea katika hospitali zetu tumekuwa na kutembelewa mahospitali zetu karibu milioni mbili watoto elfu mia moja wameweza e, kunufaika na pesa ya basari kwa sababu ya yule uelewano barabara tumefanya makilomita na makilomita hata wakati huu licha kuwa na kianga, na, na elonino lakini barabara zetu zimekuwa za kupitika e, e, hata kutukiwa na changamoto hapa na pale kwa hivyo ni kusema kwamba ushirikiano huo tutafanya ustadi zetu ziwe nzuri tutafanya kilimo chetu kiwe kizuri kwa sasa tumeelewana ya kwamba kila ward tuweke milioni tatu. na itasimamiwa na executive pamoja na na wajube wetu kuona ya kwamba tumeanzisha mradi wa AI na pia kilimo cha pareto tumekubaliana kila ward ni lazima tuwe na kilimo cha pareto ili tuweze kuweka pesa katika mifuko ya wananchi wetu na mimi naona kwa jumla tumeendelea tumeendelea vizuri mwaka huo na hatuwezi kurudi nyuma labda tuongeze bidii zaidi na kuelewana zaidi na kushirikiana zaidi ili tuwe na mafanikio hata zaidi hapo because the vote that made the honorable Gadrimo an MCA is the vote that made me a senator. And it is the same vote that made the governor, Madrisha, the governor. It is the same vote, just one vote. That one vote that made you MCA is the same one vote that made me senator. If I appreciate that, then I will be able to uh, respect you. This morning when I was coming on up the speaker, 
I was doing a very serious reflection as a leader. Uh, as a young leader uh, who has been elected to serve uh, the people of Nyandarwa, and I was asking myself, if I was to mirror myself with the members of the county assembly of Nyandarwa, maybe pick a trait from each of you. You can imagine, Governor, if you pick the humility of the Honorable Samuel Chekla Grimo, and with the respect of the Honorable Kamwana, the agility of the Honorable Mbae, the hard work of the Honorable uh, Bogo, the resilience of the Honorable Kashomba, and the brilliance of the Honorable Kumu, you can imagine what kind of a leader I would become if I was to combine the, you know, uh, all those. Uh, so whatever I'm saying, what I'm saying is that you have all those, um, uh, you know, um, uh, characters in here. You have, you, you are not deficient of the people that they would make this county and um, our people go very uh, Finally, and Mucho Kabisa is to say this. And uh, I, I don't know because I know, I, I know the Honorable Mark is okay, will not agree with me because, uh, you know, he's my area member of uh, county assembly, so I know. Um, every time we have been saying, for that one year, we have been saying that uh, we have been working in unity and in harmony, which is a very good thing. In fact, the people are very happy that uh, we are working in harmony and in unity. Over peace and the harmony that we have, Honorable Mark is okay. If we are not able to give something to the people of Nyakaro, they shall never appreciate the peace that we are speaking about. If we shall not be able to ensure that we have medicine in our hospitals, and in that point, uh, I know we actually agreed that uh, when we say these things, nobody is fighting anybody. Uh, we have agreed that we are working together. We have agreed that we are working in unity. In this regard, Honorable Governor, it is clear that I mentioned this because I have mentioned it to you, that uh, the hospital that the president opened in Engineer, the one that uh, put as uh, engineer and Gazara has 116 beds that are ready for use. And uh, right now we are only using seven beds for men and seven beds for, for women. We are underutilizing the engineer hospital. So if we are not, even if uh, we are very peaceful, we talk about peace, and we are not able to utilize such a facility that we already have, then we shall not be doing justice to the people of Nyakara. So far, so good. The people of this county can never regret, have not regretted why they did put, uh, put us uh, into these uh, positions. And I'm happy today because once more, I know very well that it is quite important to integrate the Word of God uh, as we look forward to take this county to the greater heights in the next five years. I am here as the daughter of Nyandarwa for us to worship together, for us to honor God, for us to celebrate in the company of each other because this far God has brought us. It is a season that we know that we'll be going to be taking a break and festivities, sharing the goodness of the Lord for the year. A year that has been calm in this county of Nyandarwa, a year that has also been calm for the government and the whole country indeed. So I'm very privileged to be part of you here today. I must confess it is the first time I am attending this prayer event and I was very deliberate that now I have no excuse.